Behind this car lies an unbelievable story, because this Porsche was built in the GDR. The setting is Germany in the early 1950s. In the West, the vaunted economic miracle and shiny ads promise prosperity, travel and freedom. In the midst of it all, the Porsche 356 emerged as Germany's first series sports car. In the East, by contrast, the socialist planned economy and rationing were the order of the day. Driving a Porsche was unthinkable. This is where the story of the two vehicle engineering students Falk and Knut Reimann begins. The brothers from Dresden wanted to drive a Porsche of their own, and decided there and then to construct the car themselves. But how does one build a sports car in a country in which everything is rationed? The brothers set to work in their garage. Decommissioned war machinery would stand in. Taking the floor plate of a Jeep-style Kubelwagen and cable brakes, the brothers first built their chassis. The body was constructed of old truck hoods beaten into shape over thousands of hours of labor. But the engine was a problem. How was one supposed to procure a sports car engine in the GDR? This is where Porsche comes in. The brothers had traveled to Zuffenhausen and found an open ear in Ferry Porsche himself. After some initial skepticism, the two received a letter. To help you out of your predicament, we will be sending you a set of used pistons and cylinders as requested in the coming days. All we request in return is that you assume the shipping costs. We wish you pleasant driving with your homemade Porsche. The Reimanns were able to pick up their original Porsche parts at a dealership in West Berlin. They then smuggled the pistons and cylinders over the border in a dramatic cloak and dagger foray. Back in Dresden, the two used a VW Beetle engine as their base and modified it into a passable sports car engine with the Porsche parts. In 1954, the car was finally ready to roll. The Reimann twins drove clear across Europe at speeds of up to 130 km per hour. With just one driver's license which they both shared and sporting an invalid license plate, but happy as clams in their dream sports car.